Hey guys, welcome to another edition of The Max. And we're gonna be in the kitchen today. You know, we just processed our pig. So we're gonna actually be breaking down and making bacon today. Everybody loves bacon, everybody loves a good pork side. So instead of making a pork belly cuts, we're gonna be making bacon and we're gonna show you how we do our bacon. Uh, we're gonna, you know, there's different ways you can do bacon. You can do what you call a wet cure or a dry cure. We're gonna be doing a dry cure. You can also use pink salt, which is sodium nitrite. We don't use sodium nitrite, so we're actually gonna do it the way of a natural preserving. And we're gonna be using salt and sugar and just a little pepper too. So let's get started. All right guys, so today before we start, what we're gonna do is just have our, our pork belly here. This pork belly is, is all for one of our hogs that we just uh, actually processed and gotten done. You, we finished our pork chops. You saw the video in, I think it was the last video, that just showed us breaking down our primals. So this was one of the primals that we broke down, which is the side. Uh, that's where we get our spare ribs, but also this beautiful pork belly. So this pork belly will now become bacon. So bacon, the only way you can make pork belly to bacon is you have to go through a curing stage. Bacon is made, and bacon is really your most expensive part, pretty much on a hog. So a lot of times people take their hams and their bacons, and they cure them out, and that's actually where you get your expensive cuts of pig. So what we're gonna be doing today is actually working on the cure for this bacon. And we'll start this process. This process will be dry cured, and it will be naturally done, so we're not using any kind of pink salt or anything like that, any prog powder, or anything. We're gonna be using just simply three ingredients. And what we're gonna do is dry cure it in the fridge, and then we'll smoke it when we're really ready to eat bacon. And at the end of this video, we'll cut it, we'll eat it, taste test it, and enjoy bacon. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and mix our salt, our sugar, and our pepper up, and that's what will be the base of this pork belly starting to make bacon. All right, today, so we're gonna be mixing our salt and, and sugar up first. So we're using just basically a non-GMO sugar you can buy at Walmart, no big deal. So the main thing with salt and sugar though, for us is we wanna make sure that brine or that cure is equal parts. So this is two pounds, this bag of uh, brown sugar, and we're using dark brown sugar because it's a little bit thicker, a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter. And then same way, we're gonna be using the pink Himalayan salt, non-GMO organic, naturally pure. Now, typically you can use a coarse pink salt, especially if you're not using any kind of sugar, because that coarse pink salt will help, you know, cure your meat, but it will not actually um, get into your meat too much. So if you're doing just a salt cure or salt brine like some people do, I would challenge you to probably use coarse salt. Uh, when you're mixing with sugar though, it really doesn't matter. You can do regular fine grain salt because again, your sugar is going to help balance it out. So let's get this in the bowl right quick. Let's open this. If you pour that one in. All right, so what we're going to do is basically just mix that salt and sugar together and you want to make sure it's really good mixed. Now, the sugar needs to be kind of, you see how packy, you know, brown sugar can be. And salt is fine grain. So you want to make sure that you're incorporating them really well together because you don't want half of it being sugared and half of it being salted. So we're going to basically just pick up from the bottom. You see that salt getting worked in. And let's just spend a little time just incorporating both of those flavors. You can have five pounds to five pounds. You can have a pound to pound. It depends on how big your pork belly is. There's not a science to it. What we're going to do is use two pounds to two pounds first. We'll rub it in and around all on this pork belly, basically, and, and incorporate everything, all the sides of the meat, all the top, the bottom, everything. And then we're going to put it in a dish. And basically, over time, every day, we'll turn, we'll rotate this pork and make sure that it is getting covered. Now, say for instance, you turn it over and you need some more salt and sugar brine put on it. Well, then you need to put it on there because the whole purpose is you want the salt to pull the moisture out, but at the same time, the salt and sugar giving flavor to the bacon. So right now you have pork belly, you're gonna start curing a pork belly and I'm hoping within five to seven days, we've got bacon. So let's go ahead and start incorporating this onto the meat. And what we're gonna do is just kind of work it on the top first and then after we work it on the top, we'll put this, this we'll put this in the pan first and then incorporate the other side as we put it in the fridge. All right, so now we've got this part done on this side. So what we're gonna do now is just basically pick our pork belly up. Well, first, here's what we're gonna do. Let's put some of this seasoning in the bottom and just kind of get it getting it full too. Instead of flipping the, the um, 
the pork belly, we're actually gonna put the skin side down. We've already cut our skin off, excuse me. So we're gonna put fat side down as we go into this container. So we're inside this container. It fits, now again, one thing you wanna do, if you need to cut your meat down to fit in whatever container that you have, there's nothing wrong with having two or three, you know, pieces of, of pork belly and you can pile them on top of each other. Just make sure every piece that you've got is covered with some kind of cure. Now, what we're gonna do is pack that in there good. Make sure all the seasoning we're using, you see, this is about a, I don't know, probably seven, eight pound, 10 pound pork belly. So, you know, four pounds of, of cure has easily covered it with no issue. Now, this is dry. Once you actually get it into the fridge after one day, you're gonna flip this about every 24 hours, about halfway through, I'm gonna flip it. Okay, about 12. Then what we're gonna do as we flip it, that water's gonna build up. What you wanna see is that water building up. What that is, is that salt's bringing out that moisture. So what we're gonna do is as it comes, we'll pour that out, flip it, repeat the steps. If it needs more salt, needs more sugar, we'll pile it on there together. Um, also what we're gonna do, now, my kids don't like spice too much, but so what we're going to do basically now before we put it in the refrigerator is we're going to put a little pepper on this, just a, basically a coarse ground pepper just to kind of give a little bit better flavoring as we smoke it. So we're going to just kind of scatter some pepper on there and just kind of work it in. All it's going to do is just kind of go on the edges. It's not going to soak into the meat like the salt and sugar wheel but it'll give it some little of a crispy smell and crispy taste and a good smoke flavor once we get to the last step of taking our pork belly to bacon, bacon to smoke, and then smoking it and eating it. So, all right, so we've got it done. You see right here, one more piece of meat showing right here in the corner. We're gonna put some of, this, some of the cure on it. We've got a little bit left here. We're gonna put it right on top of that. We don't want any meat exposed. All right, so we, you know, we have two sides. So this will be the second side. We're gonna do the same process. You see how that look is right there? That's where you get that bacon. So you can tell this pork belly is bacon. It just needs to cure out. But you see how there's like four or five different elements to that bacon. That's how you get that great flavor because you've got fat, then meat, then fat, then meat. It's just beautiful. So we cut this one in half. So that way we'll be able to put it in the other container because this one actually was a little bit bigger than the first one. So let's do the same thing. We're gonna mix our cure up and get it on here. All right, All right guys, first day we're gonna be flipping. So let's hit his first 24 hours. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You can see the moisture that's in there. And we're gonna dump this off, flip the bacons or the pork bellies and re-salt and sugar some of the spots that need it. But we're gonna show you the moisture that's in there. And this is what you want. You want it to draw out that moisture because bacon needs to be basically dehydrating there. All right, so we have, you see all this moisture right here. We're gonna dump all that out. All right, so I flipped them. Now they got the fat side up. We've recoated with salt and a little sugar. Same way over here, salt and a little sugar. So we're gonna go ahead and take them right back out to the fridge. Okay, so day four. Now this, this one here has literally no moisture sitting around it. So we're gonna flip it again, salt it again, put it back in there. This one has just a tad, tad bit of moisture. We'll do the same thing, dry it off, put it back in there and let it age. You see how dark this meat is getting? And I wanna show you this. You see how it's not getting flimsy anymore. It's kind of just staying, you know, if you hold it one way or the other, I mean, you're holding it almost straight out. So you're dehydrating it like it's needing to be to cure it on out. So we're gonna do the same process we've been doing. Just wanted to give you an update. Okay, so we've got the pork belly out. This is day seven. It is aged really well, no moisture, but just a tad. Uh, we are not gonna keep this in the fridge as this size. Once we smoke it, we'll cut it in chunks of one or two pounds, slice it, and that way it will be ready to eat as we go. If you're looking to keep this in a dry age situation where you wanna just leave it out after smoking and you know leave it in the fridge or leave it on the countertop like a ham, you need to let it cure a little bit more. So you keep doing the same rotation that we've done. But for what we're doing, this is perfect. So I wanna let you look at them. Uh, the, the, you'll see the salt, the pepper, the sugar that's still on there. And then what we'll do is wash them off, dry them off with a towel, pat it down, and then put them back in the refrigerator just for a little bit to let them just basically dry out. No, Nothing but just sitting there um, with a towel underneath on a drying rack. 
once they're dried, we're gonna start the smoker. We'll get these smoked and then you'll see us actually slicing them, cutting them, and eating them. This bacon is actually ready. It's pork belly, you slice it, you could fry it up right now. We wanna add an, another layer of flavor though by smoking it. So we've cured it, we've made the pork belly bacon. You can see right here, those definitive lines like bacon, you know, just definitive lines right there. So it's ready to go as in bacon. However, we are wanting it to even taste better. So you see, it's got that, still got that, that uh, sugar and salt and pieces of pepper just kind of flaked all over. That'll help it get flavoring. But you want to wash off as much as you can just so you don't have too much saltiness or too much pepper or too much sugar on your bacon. Now you can cut this by hand. However, my wife and children like it when it's, you know, thin, thin, thin. So beautiful, beautiful bacon. Look at that. We're gonna cook some up right quick, see how it tastes. And then that's gonna be the true test to see if it's worth making your own bacon. Mm. You can taste the smoke, heavy salt, which again, that's our curing agent. Man, that's good. You can cut it thin as you want, thick as you want. If you're cutting it by knife, which we have, makes it thick, but for us, my kids like it thin, and my wife. This is really good. You can do it. Go buy your pork belly today. If you're not raising your own hogs, go call your butcher and tell them you want a pork belly. Try it yourself. You can do it and you'll make the best bacon ever. Happy homestead, y'all.